day, Crafty Chums, it's Nikki here, aka Carson Ducat, aka Carson Ducat's Life, and I'm just giving you a quick flip through there of the faces that I'm uh, painting, drawing and painting for the hashtag 29faces series by Ayala Art, and hosted by Ayala Art, and um, so yes, yeah, so this is my next face, uh, I'm doing this on a... Uh, three inch by five inch watercolor piece of paper and I'm just drawing the face there and uh, I intend doing this all in watercolor but I may change my mind halfway through and change to acrylics but I'm not sure yet um, it just depends whether I get bored with uh, doing the watercolor or not I actually like doing the watercolor faces so I'll probably stick with it and um, I do, I do like acrylic as well, but it's harder to work in <laughs> for me with the watercolour and um, pencils and crayons are easier. So yeah, so it's quite a bigger face today that takes up the whole page. Sometimes I don't know where these faces come from. Sometimes um, I do it from a photograph of family or something like that, but this one isn't. So she's taken up the uh, sort of like the whole of the card there. And... Um, the card is index size card and my index card sizes that I like to work with are three by five which I just mentioned before. So um so yeah so just sketching it out having a little think about where I'm going to put things and uh, yeah I do a lot of thinking while I'm doing this. So the um not the painting but the actual sketching is a lot of thinking and that so uh, Trying to get it right. So it's slightly pointing towards the one side again. Notice I do that a lot, so I'm going in with a nice yellow. <laughs> I quite like the yellowy greeny undertones of the paintings. It seems to be my kind of thing. <laughs> sure, I've, I've experimented with different things, and this seems to be my favourite or my go to colours. <laughs> don't know why. I'm using a different blue this time. I don't know what it is. I could go back and look. I don't make a note of it as I'm going along because as I say, it, it's um, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a fine artist or anything. I just paint and enjoy painting and, uh, and I'm just sharing that with you. My joy of it here. If I actually thought I was any good, I'd probably do it as a tutorial, but um, I'm still learning myself. <laughs> so, you know, it'd be, it would be, um, I don't know, pretentious of me to, to pretend that this is a tutorial of any kind um, when I'm still learning the process myself, still understanding shadows and things like that myself and skin tones and how to use the watercolour crayons and that. The, these are, um, I'm using a mixture of uh, Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s and um, uh, the Derwent Graphi Tint pencils as well. I may throw in a couple of Tombow markers later on, watercolour markers that I have as well. Uh, but we'll see if I can get them out of the drawer, then maybe I'll use them on um, a little bit later on in the series that I'm doing. But we'll see. I'll let you know if I use the Tombow markers. <laughs> I've tried to do this as a complete voiceover this time rather than add music because some people actually don't like it when you add music and... Some people want you to talk through it. As I say quite often, I'll have nothing to say because um, I'm not teaching this. I'm just painting it, really. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just darkening up the uh, lip area there with a bit of red. I think I pop some blue in the face as well. If I put colour in the eyes and colour on the lips, then I try to put the colour that I'm using there into the face as well. I see I've got some nice shadows developing. <laughs> Oh. What's quite amusing is I do the eyes and then um, at the moment I'm mucking up on the eyes, smudging them and things, so uh, never mind. So they all come right in the end. <laughs> I don't normally shadow in black, but um, I'm using it there. I'm, quite, I'm shadowing black under the, in the nostrils because that's a really, really dark area, but um, I don't normally shadow in black. I just decided I wanted to. <laughs> it's good enough reason, and just getting the little creases in the eyes there as well as the uh, eyebrow. I don't. I think I put 
Yeah, I think I put eyelashes on this girl. I tend not to try and put them in because I'm hopeless at them, so if I'm not very good at them, I'll just leave it off. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's quite difficult when the face is turned slightly to one side or whatever as she is here. Gave her some really skinny eyebrows there, didn't I? Never mind. A little bit, I don't know, 30s, 40s with skinny eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, I did put eyelashes in. Absolutely atrocious eyelashes, but never mind. I suppose you've got to practice them to get better. I tend to keep clear of them. And the hair. My head, I was going to do black hair. <laughs> I know I fully intended to do black hair when I started out, but, um, but as I was... Uh, as I was actually painting her in that, she came out with brown hair. Brown hair felt right. Sometimes I can't decide the hair colour until I've uh, done the face colour. So just going in, you know, a few bits and pieces there. I think I wandered off here. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Oh, I've slowed it down because I'm coming towards the end. So <laughs> there you go. That's what I've done. And um, so, yeah, I want to say thank you for joining me. Uh, for face number nine. I hope you join me for a few more faces. It would be nice to get a few kind comments from you as well. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and a share. It all helps. <laughs> and uh, if you don't, don't bother with the thumbs down, you know, just don't watch. Just turn off, go somewhere else. <laughs> so yeah, just highlighting the lips there, a bit on the nose and the forehead. I don't know what else I do there, but yeah, I quite liked how this one turned out. Even though she's still got a greeny cast to her, I actually quite like it. Quite like how she turned out there. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining me and uh, on to the next. Bye.